In a new interview, Hillary Clinton comes to the defense of her husband, Bill Clinton, over his affair with then White House intern Monica Lewinsky while he was president of the United States. Hillary Clinton says she doesn't consider the affair an abuse of power. In retrospect, do you think Bill should have resigned in the wake of the Monica Lewinsky scandal? Absolutely not. It wasn't an abuse of power? No, no. There are people who look at the incidents of the 90s and they say a president of the United States cannot have a consensual relationship with an intern. The power imbalance is too great. Who was great. an adult. But let me ask you this. Where's the investigation of the current incumbent? New York Times uh, White House reporter Julie Hirschfeld Davis is back with us and joining us now, CNN legal analyst and civil rights attorney Ariva Martin. What did you think of, uh, in this Me Too era, her answer today? Well, I think she's right. What happened between Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky was definitely not sexual assault. But where I disagree slightly with uh, Secretary of uh, uh, Clinton is that the power issue. Clearly, there was an imbalance of power. Now, we don't know if there was an abuse of power. Uh, from what I have read in terms of what Monica Lewinsky has always said, she said it was a consensual relationship between two adults. And one thing I think is important to note with the Me Too movement, this is about women uh, having access to equality in the workplace, being in workplaces that are safe. But it doesn't mean that women can't have consensual relationships in the workplace. So I don't think anyone who's you know, standing up for Me Too is saying that we should do away with or prohibit women from having consensual relationships. Power is an important issue, though, particularly when you're talking about the president and an intern. Because Hillary Clinton's getting a lot of criticism uh, for those remarks. Uh, Monica Lewinsky was a 22-year-old intern, so legally she's an adult, uh, and it was consensual. She wanted this, uh, he wanted it. But the, the point being that he's president of the United States, uh, and, and she's a 22-year-old intern. Right, no question. And, and so much of the Me Too movement and what we've seen uh, emerge from some of these revelations that we've learned about over the last couple of years, or the last year and a half, really, um, is is about women going back and reassessing things that they have been involved in, relationships that they were in, and deciding that while it may have seemed consensual at the time, it was actually something that was inappropriate and they felt taken advantage of. And so for her to sort of shut that down and say, no, it wasn't an abuse of power, uh, that is, that it, it, it was a striking uh, thing for her to say. And I think probably was at odds with what so many women who are really sort of reckoning with the Me Too movement are thinking right now, and not to mention uh, a little, very much at odds with where a lot of the Democratic base is right now and where Democrats as a party want to see the upsurge around these midterm elections. There are, you know, they, they think there's a real opportunity to capitalize on the fact that women are angry about uh, what's been going on, the power dynamics in society that they think are wrong, uh, that, that the president represents to them, that the Brett Kavanaugh uh, confirmation battle represented to them, and having a prominent Democratic woman come forward and say, you know, you can't look at this power dynamic and say that this was uh, inappropriate or that in retrospect respect it wasn't the right thing that's something that's very much at odds with with, with what's going on in the grassroots right now I think yeah and I, and I don't think Hillary Clinton would deny that there was an imbalance of power between the president and the intern. But one thing I think Democrats shouldn't do is play into this Republican GOP narrative that somehow we should disavow what Bill Clinton did and not focus on what Donald Trump is doing. And I think that's what uh, Hillary Clinton did so brilliantly in that interview. It says, okay, we can talk about what Bill Clinton did in the 90s, but let's talk about what Donald Trump is doing currently. All the women that have come forward and made accusations against him, we don't see this, the same kind of, of movement happening in the Republican base to cause Donald Trump to resign from office. We don't see GOP senators or congressmen coming forward to say that his conduct, which we now know has been pretty egregious leading up to his election to, presidents, to the presidency, that that should be disqualifying as for him as president of the United States. So I think the Democrats have to stay focused on what the issue is. And the issue is winning the midterm elections in 2018, winning the White House in 2020, and you're not going to find a bigger advocate for the Me Too movement than I am. But I do think we have to respect the, the, the difference between sexual assault and consensual relationships. We should talk about the imbalance of power, but we should absolutely distinguish between those relationships that are consensual and those that are not. You know, a lot of Democrats are wondering, is Hillary Clinton with three weeks to go until the midterm an asset or a liability to fellow Democrats? 
Well, I mean, it's a good question. I think in having her come forward in this context it has a lot of Democrats on edge. I don't think that they think that that's necessarily the context in, in which they would like to see her. You, I noticed that we don't see Bill Clinton out uh, campaigning for uh, Democratic candidates. There, you know, there's a competitive race in Arkansas. We don't see him uh, being called upon to, to participate in that. And so I think for a lot of Democrats, they want to be looking forward. They want to be presenting an alternative that's something different from Donald Trump and that's something different from Hillary Clinton because you know, to, to, to Democrats, they need to seize on the energy, the energy they have now in their minds in order to uh, try to take back one House of Congress or both houses.